Children grow quickly through stages of development, so their shoes need to be changed regularly to match their changing foot size. Juvenile foot deformity can occur quickly if the child is squeezed into a shoe that is too small for the feet. The three key questions to ask before buying a pair of shoes are Number one, how does the shoe fit? Length, width and depth are important to avoid ingrown toenails, bunions and clawed toe deformities. Feel around the toe box. There should be enough wiggle room for the toes. Rounded toe boxes are highly recommended, ensuring your child's foot does not contour to the shape of the shoe. The last of the shoe should conform to the foot skeleton. Shoe last comes in two general shapes, straight and C-shaped. Which one corresponds best to the shape of your child's foot? Number two, what material is the shoe made of? Shoes should be breathable. Children's feet perspire more than adults. The material should reduce excessive moisture in order to prevent skin infections from taking hold. Materials such as canvas, leather or mesh are better than rubber or plastic. Entire rubber shoes or those with thick rubber outer soles can be a safety concern. The child would be more prone to tripping over on certain flooring and getting their feet stuck in escalators or crevices. Number three, is the shoe appropriate for your child's age? Children's feet grow in spurts, which means that every three to four months, they may require new shoes. Monitor and change the shoes as soon as they are almost outgrown. Shoes should be immediately comfortable. If your child finds that the shoe is uncomfortable, it could mean that the shoe is not designed for their foot type. Shoes should not have more than one inch of heel height before the teenage years. High-heeled shoes could deform growing feet. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.